Hey, Cappies. What are you guys up to? I'm going to do a star oracle reading. So pretty much there's going to be five. Oh, God. I see you. Pretty much there's going to be five different cards. Um, one of them is going to be for what you need to let go of or what needs to be let go, um, what needs to be called in, what needs to be created, um, what needs to be nurtured, and what a potential outcome could be. Remember, energy is fluid, so this could be happening right now. This could be happening in the future. It doesn't mean that it's going to be, you know, whatever. And that's more for the outcome because this is kind of like not like one of those kind of readings where it's like the psychic telling you like in the future what's going to happen kind of thing. It's it's different. No problem. And then I pull, like, a random oracle card just for the hell of it, just to see if it, like, matches. Cappies. Cappies. Capricorn. Oh, yeah, guys. Wow, that's funny. Wow. <laughs> Uh, you got creation for create. Let's see how that goes. If you have forecast, I'm gonna, I'm gonna laugh. Okay. So what needs to be let go? Reflection. I hold the mirror up to see, accept, and love all of me. Okay, so right now, I feel like you're really judging yourself right now, and you're not loving yourself enough to manifest what it is you want, and you need to do a lot of reflection right now, okay? You could be um, focused on the material world right now, and not really in the, three, like, more of your 3D reality, rather than the 5D, and um, you could be going by external circumstances on how, of, how you're going by your self-worth, okay? Um, because when you hold the mirror up and you see yourself for who you are, for all of who you are, with your shadow, your light, everything, and you accept yourself and you can love your whole entire being, that's where the self-worth comes from. It doesn't come from external circumstances. So that belief needs to be let go of. What needs to be called in is your destiny. I focus on service and following my higher purpose. Yeah, you have a really big purpose in this life. Um, four plus one is five, which means change is going to be coming in. Um, it's going to be calling your, it's, you're being called to start living in your destiny. And um, right now you're not. So it's, things are going to start shaking up in your world that are going to morph you into molding you into more of what your destiny is with serving people and whatever it is that is going to be your destiny pretty much is coming into creation <laughs> you're creating one is creation spiritually direction inspires my creative flow yes yeah. so right now it's like it really depends on your self-worth of how you're looking at yourself in order to create what it is it create your destiny pretty much so like i said you're gonna be like kicked into gear and be like morphing stuff is gonna start happening so we have a number three for the winged messenger, and it's actually 333 three, three on my camera, and my son just messaged me, <laughs> um, which means like it can be recon re recon reconciliation, it can be friendship, it can mean coming together, celebration, you know, something like that. So when you start working on your destiny and you start working on your self-worth and reflecting back at yourself rather than using the external world to depend your worth, that's when the creation, that's when the creative flow is going to come in your intuition. You're going to know exactly what direction to go in if you have no clarity right now and you're confused. Okay, so nurturing is, yeah, see, your shame. <sighs> Pretty much what I was saying. Um, I no longer hide my face. I step into the light with love. So right now, there needs to be some reflection. Something could have happened that you feel shameful for, or maybe you feel shameful for who you are, or maybe you feel shameful for your past. Maybe you feel shameful from the childhood, and that's what needs to be reflected on right now, but there needs to be healing. Um, this is what needs to be nurtured, is your shame, your guilt, whatever it is that you feel shameful for. Like I said, if you don't have forecast, yeah, this is, this is like... There's two cards. One of them literally says like it's an it's a an, um, inner child one, but I also 
count this one as it, but it's pretty much saying as the outcome, once you can look yourself in reflection and it's going to start creating more of your destiny and you're going to be able to focus and service on your higher purpose more, the shame is going to fall away. You're going to be able to, again, accept and love yourself for who you are without hiding your face and you're going to be able to step forward in whatever it is that you need to step forward in that the shame is keeping you back right now. Because shame and guilt is keeping you back right now from making your dreams. But once that is healed, your dreams are coming. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. That is the outcome. So your random card. I don't really know how this matches. So I'm not going to. It was the ancient grandmother teacher. I am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge. But I don't really see how that. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing. This is heal. Heal. The medicine woman. I nur nurture and nourish my mind, body, and soul. Yeah, there needs to be healing here right now. Around this shame and guilt. Inner child work. This could have something to do with your childhood that's bringing something that's going on right now into play. But there needs to be a reflection. Because the more you can accept yourself, the more you can love yourself. The more love you're going to be getting from your outside world. But right now, you, the circumstances might not be looking like love because you're not loving yourself enough to be able to let that love in. Okay, so let that start nurturing yourself with the, sh the shaming, the healing, being able to create your creation and letting in your destiny. Dream big, dude, because this this reading is literally saying after you can heal the shame and the guilt and, you know, all that, like your dream is going to come true. Like legit outcome, dream, outcome, dream, whatever this is, it needs to be healed. Let it go. That's literally the reflection and I think the reflection is more of how you view yourself as a person and you're shameful for who you are you need healing nine plus the number for healing is 39 which is 12 which is three which we already did that um <laughs> It's actually 38 is the shame number, and then 39 is the heal number, and then 40 is the mirror number, and then 41 is the destiny number. Wow. And then the enchanter, which is the dream, is 2 plus 1, which is 3, which you have the winged messenger as number 3. Jeez, that's crazy. 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 2, which is about your destiny. It's about your path. It's about um, duality. It's about a relationship. It can be about love. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> like your outcome is your dream. Just start healing. Reflect. Love yourself. Heal the shame. Love yourself. Heal. And actually that that teacher card, actually, after getting the healing card, right, could be you're able to help people. And this has something to do with your destiny. Being able to, I am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge. You're going to be able to lead, lead people into their healing because you were able to do it yourself. You were able to heal what you needed to heal in order to move forward into your destiny to help people with this. Okay? It's beautiful. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.